the home edit is in my house. And I'm so excited um, about this process. So I thought it was the perfect time. We've moved into the new house in January. It's spring, so the spring cleaning vibes that everyone has. So I'm gonna take you guys through the process today as they do my pantry. The home edit, if you guys don't know who they are, everyone knows who the home editor is. They do like the Kardashians pantries, Gwyneth Paltrow's, Mandy Moore's, like it's amazing what they do. It's really, really crazy. So they do just this beautiful organizing where they label everything and your pantry just looks beautiful or your spice drawers or your nursing drawers or your refrigerator or your closet. What's going on right now is they're taking everything out of the pantry. We've got everything from the container store. So um, the container store is where they get pretty much all of their product. And at the end of this video, I'm just going to link all of the different types of containers that we used today. I first like uh, came in contact with the home edit because I was uh, friends with Clea, who is like one of the two girls that started Clea and Joanna st started it. Now they're like huge and I could hardly even get on the schedule, but here we are, so I'm so excited. They have a book that just came out, so if you guys want to do this yourself, you can follow along. I'm gonna find the book and I'm gonna link it below. But here, we go. Say hi to everyone. Say, I got a lot of snacks in the, food, in the pantry already. Put them on one of the nursing um, section, possibly, and a bottle section. I'm just gonna just go ahead and put all the nursing stuff together. Can't wait for you to bust that pump back out again so I can hear that noise right when I'm about oh, to sleep. Oh, Lord. Right all of these containers are from Container Store. So, different containers are going to house different products. One of my favorite ones though are these little turntable ones. So it's by Enter Design and it is from Container Store. So it, it's on a little um, spinner thing. And so they spin so you can put all different things in here. So we're gonna put like some packets for Ford in there and um, different types of things. And then they have just like drawer organizers. You can either get white ones like this. The brand is the S Smart Store I think. You just get like all different sizes of them. So here's like the other small ones. They went through and just kind of did a consult, determined the things that I would need kind of for the stuff that we were wanting to store and the spaces we wanted to do. And they ordered it all and it arrived. Doug. Really excited to see the finished product. You want to show them how many jars of vinegar you bought us? Mm -hmm. I always forget whenever I already have things and I rebuy them. Vinegar is one of those things. We might as well own Modena. Vinegar. We have a lot of this vinegar, we but it is not a crime like you might oh, think the way that Kyle's talking about it. Not. This is the book that um, you can use if you don't um, have the luxury of having the home edit come to your house. Thank goodness they finally came out with this. When? Like a month ago? Well, like a month ago I would say. And they show you how to organize all different spaces. <laughs> They show you what type of containers they use, um, just how to store different things. They show you a lot of the celebrity closets and stuff that they do. Everything from like arts and crafts drawers to like closets to of course pantries and fridges and spice racks and nursing drawers and stuff like that. So they have these things in the back of the book that you can actually use if you wanted to organize things yourself. So I'll link this below. Um, you can get it on Amazon or most places that sell books have them. So Clea is here now and she comes and she's like, what is a yellow snack? What is a green cereal? Like fills it in with the rainbow eyes. I'm just talking about you and your green snack and yellow snack knowledge. Well, you know what? I think it's really important, okay? Yellow fruit pouches exist and they will go here. I hope your mm -hmm. child likes them. Mm -hmm. I, hope your, I hope your child likes things. It doesn't matter at this point in time. <laughs> yeah, right. It doesn't matter. That's what's happening. We just need to get a little bit creative with cereal. Right. You know? That's because you like thing. to do, I mean, the rainbow it is It already appears, just... but I just feel like it's a missed opportunity to not try and bring mm -hmm. just a little the bit rainbow down. all like, the way Like, this is, like, already kind of, like, happening. Mm -hmm. And the Cocoa Puffs with the Peanut Butter Cuffs. Mm -hmm. I, I just feel like there's a little, like, does purple yeah. cereal exist? Is that a thing? I just it's... think... I'm not above picking out Fruit Loops <laughs> and making three different blue Fruit Loops. You have your green uh -huh. Fruit Loops. I'm not above it. Has just, your brain always worked like this? Sadly, yes. <laughs> just and like, two, like, look at that. Oh, so, oh my gosh, I just totally die. 
So when y'all come in and do a home, or if you do like the virtual, because mm -hmm. you still do the virtual. We, we send labels. So they send these labels to your house. And the virtual one is a lot more affordable. Like if you guys aren't able to have them come all up in your home, that's amazing. Because that's such a big part of it. It and is. The labeling is your key. handwriting. And honestly, the reason why we created the labeling is because obviously I can't physically go right on every canister in everyone's house. Yeah. Also, eventually it wears off. Oh, oh, oh. Is it Isn't ironic it that nuts and kids are by each other? <laughs> yes, but it's my husband. He's, he's all right. So um, then, and then you can create custom ones if you need to create. Yes, we, in the which same we do. Yes. Um, so, Shayna, how late were you here last night? Uh, till nine. Till nine. But for really <laughs> good reasons. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, okay. But this Made. is why Shayna was here <gasps> so late, and I'm telling you, it's worth it. Have you ever seen anything more worth it? Oh, no, it's gorgeous. I can take zero credit for it. Love it. it is so. Shayna, you killed it. <gasps> killed it. Okay, so one of my personal favorites that was added from yesterday is this the little crazy. Oh. Yeah, the crazy. And way to bring in the white with the Be red. Well, the white also with the frosted mini. Also, yeah. the mm -hmm. transition point. Yeah, don't don't think I don't know. Oh this. my god, yeah. Shana, your I see, I see <laughs> you, crazins. Yeah. The way that your brains work, though. I mean, it's and great. even behind the door, like nobody's even seen this. No one's ugly. Not this even is kind the of the real stuff. It is so back here. But okay, but so y'all use mostly everything from Container Store, right? Yeah, virtually everything. Yeah. Virtually exclusive. everything. Like you can literally hire them virtually, pay a fee, and then you get all the labels. Yes. You get like, so you tell them the containers. They so can basically get. they get instructions. This is for our DIY service. service. Yeah, we have a virtual yeah. DIY program. So it's on so our website. Do it yourself. So homeedit.com slash services. Mm -hmm. So everything's there. But basically you get a, like a list of shopping product, a set of instructions for placement, um, a set of labels, you can, you know, it's all done virtually over email. It's really easy. And you can like do custom labels if somebody has some wacko mm -hmm. thing. That oh yeah, pantry. definitely What's do. What's the craziest label you've ever done? Jewish stuff and magic tricks. <laughs> Yeah. It's a good one. So wait, but okay. let me tell you what it meant. It took us months to figure out what you were, and we were like thinking it was like, like an it, ongoing thing. I thought it was like a Harry Potter bar mitzvah theme or something. Like I like couldn't imagine what would be in this bin that somebody. <laughs> so it's uh, what the wife is not Jewish. The husband is Jewish. He wanted to get into magic, so she bought a magic trick set for Hanukkah, and then when she was packing it all up, she just put it in a bin and wanted a label to say Jewish stuff and magic right, as it is. So literally yesterday, she was like, we have to have a green cereal. Because you just have a vision of, like, it's just in your mind. Your mind just runs right like, It would be a missed opportunity. There's, yes, we already have, like, green represented beautifully, but it, it just wasn't going to feel right to me unless we could draw some of these colors down. And you do everything rainbow, right? When, when, when I can. can. And if it makes sense. I mean, when I can. And if it makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But in this case, it does. Absolutely. It in this always case. makes sense yeah. for food. Agree. Say somebody wants to like make their pantry look like this, but they also want it to be really like user friendly. So oh, you this just. Is. This actually is remarkably user friendly. So let me explain. The cereals are obviously in canisters mm -hmm. and you have these snacks in canisters, but everything else, when you put something in a bin, it's a pretty large grouping. Like this just says snacks or chips. Like this is right. actually remarkably user friendly. When and you can see in the back. So yes. I was like, I was junking this pantry up because I couldn't see the things that I already had. So then I would buy like 15 balsamic vinegars, but you can like see it. Yeah, you can see it. Absolutely. And these are kind of like a drawer too. You can just pull it down, yeah. you know, if you no, wanted to. It's not real. And the thing, <laughs> um, but the trick. Do you fresher in this? Yes. Because somebody asked me that yesterday and I was like, I much, actually don't know. Much more. Um, the thing that you want, if you really want a user-friendly pantry, don't go crazy with canisters. Like, use for staples, you know, like baking and yeah. cereal. But the more bins you have, the easier it is to maintain. Okay. And two, like, I was looking at the La Crusade because I have them in so many different colors. I could have done, like, a rainbow La Crusade. Oh, sure. Sure. Don't think we can't come back. No, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go through and I'm going to kind of show you guys each um, part of the pantry how I'm making it usable, but also um, keeping it to where it's staged really nicely so that I can keep this organization that they've done. And um, just kind of like um, some little ideas that you can implement yourself because here's the thing. Yes, the home edit is like amazing to come into your home, but it's a lot more expensive for them to come into your home. So if you are just like, hey, I just want to pay them and they can do it like I mean I've been wanting to do this for years I finally pulled the trigger and I'm so grateful that I did that but if you want to do it yourself there are all these different tools that you can utilize like their new book that, that just came out 
or um, now they've relaunched just today all of their labels that you see. So these are literally labels that you can buy. And even if you wanted something that wasn't on their site, you can get a custom one made. I think these are $3 a piece. This is the first section. They were like, don't show this part, but I want to because I want to see, I want you guys to see um, how this is user friendly because there are those parts of your pantry because you're a real human being that are not gonna look as beautiful as all of these sections and that's just reality so behind the door so when you come into my enormous pantry it's so crazy this pantry like does not match the size of the house this is not a 15,000 square foot house but this pantry is like amazing this is kind of the stuff that we use that doesn't need to look pretty but it's organized super well so that's always something that you guys can also utilize if you have like one end of your pantry that's not necessarily seen from the outside you could also create a section like this or you could use the floor so a lot of the things on the floor are things that you know we actually use but maybe they're not pretty i've got my vases on the top pharmacy wellness kids backstock some wellness stuff here so i've just got you know some essential oil stuff i've got some protein here i've got my um, prenatals, my uh, emergency, my breastfeeding supplements, all of that. So we are obsessed to the maximum with Smart Cups. So I took them out of the bag and they're all in this beverage rounder. This is actually, if I had to pick one thing from the container store that like, okay, I have to use this one all over my house and this is my favorite, most versatile thing, it would be this rounder. I am obsessed with this. We've also done like all of our little crystal light things, um, some more religious overflow smart cups and stuff right here. Then we just got like some pet things. Pet things are not that pretty, but you obviously want them. Backstock, backstock, condiments. Right in front of me, this is kind of like the hero, like the shot that you see when you're standing in my kitchen when you look in here. And this is the piece that we were obsessing over because what their vision was and what Cleo, when she, when she walked in, she was like, okay, we have to do this rainbow theme all the way down. The cereal is beautiful up there. Everyone's like, are you actually going to eat that cereal? Not the one that they picked. The different colors from, I ain't going to eat that one. No way. But the ones that we actually eat, like, yeah, of course. But then I'm going to keep refilling them so it looks like this. So, um, like, Literally, it took them forever to separate that cereal, and I don't even like Captain Crunch that much, and it's like one box of it, so whatever. Here, you see we started with white, and then we did all these snacks from red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and then brown. We love these Justin Peanut Butter Cups. We used to just keep them in here in the bags, but they look so much better like this. These little, um, I don't know necessarily what you would call these, but they're by that OXO, OXO, and you see they kind of seal tight like this. We're real people, people, and yes, well, like, we like beautiful things, and I have waited my whole life to like do a pantry like this. We're going to use our pantry. So it's really great when something can look beautiful, but also kind of have a purpose. You can. Um, they have this kind of little piece here. And then you just pour it. This is all kid stuff. So as you can see, we also did the rainbow theme here. He loves these things, so don't go and tell me that they're not healthy. Don't even ruin it for me. <laughs> and then just these little crunchy things, like I got those, there. I don't know if they're healthy or not. And then little cheddar bunnies, and then of course puffs are great to have. I think the plastic and the mesh at the bottom is a really nice touch. So they've got salty chips, chips. So we love these. I'm from Trader Joe's. If you're doing Weight Watchers, these are like 21 pretzels, I think, or three points. So I eat those all the time with like um, egg salad or hummus, just all different things. We love late July chips are like our faves. So you can get these at Whole Foods or whatever. Um, and they have all different flavors. They taste like Doritos, but they're a little bit more healthy than that. And then at the bottom, we've just got my Ziploc baggies and just some miscellaneous stuff. Kyle is Italian and loves pasta. We go on health kicks, of course, and we don't do a ton of pasta, but Ford really loves pasta. They have great options like Banza pasta and um, whole wheat pasta, you know, just different things. And pasta really, um, I didn't want to be like wasteful in this. Yes, like there is a few things in here that are going to go to waste just like they do in any pantry. 
Honestly, in this pantry, probably less because whenever I have my pantry not organized, I feel like I'm, I've kept buying the same things because you can't see everything. So, um, but pasta is one of those things that keeps forever and it looks really beautiful. So if you wanted to like start somewhere in your pantry, I would suggest the pasta because it's like, you know, one, one box of pasta equals those little things. And then you just buy the little containers and you can keep them for a really long time. So I've got all the different pastas. We always have salsa on hand. Love having salsa. I love Trader Joe's everything, but we've got the Trader Joe's salsa and see this is amazing because it spins. These are genius for a pantry. So we've got this um, salsa in the front and then you see how you can kind of cheat things. So say you want to stage your pantry like mine, but you're like that salsa that I actually like, it doesn't look great there. So then do like what I did where you put it in the back and you don't even see it. That, I mean, how long does a dang soup keep? Um, 07, 2021. <laughs> so we good, that's not gonna go to waste. Organic black beans, we eat a ton of black beans. I love um, Fordless black beans, just like cold or hot. I love black beans with a little bit of Greek yogurt, chopped up avocados and a ton of hot sauce. It's like been one of my pregnancy cravings. So the black beans look beautiful and they are the purple piece to the end of the can thing. But then on the back, Ford loves organic green beans. Then now for the dinner bins. So I like how they did this um, with dinner. So they just kind of got it labeled. I use stocks for everything. You guys know that I cook a lot. So we've got all the organic stocks, all the bone broths in the back. These keep for a really long time. Um, we like having just little mac and cheese, like the organic kinds are usually what we get, but they grabbed this from Trader Joe's too. Um, it's probably not as healthy as these two. We usually do the Annie's, but it looks good. So Kyle likes ramen noodles every once. So we got the healthy and the not healthy because we're real people. Then we needed a yellow something. So I'm not going to lie. We don't really eat Velveeta mac and cheese, but it looks really good here. So it was like $4 well spent. And then that's just something that I use that I've got set in the back. I use this garlic marinara sauce all the time. And I use this sugar free. If you're on the Whole30, you can actually eat this. And Weight Watchers is like hardly any points. Um, so that's something that we love to have on hand. And then there's just some more um, spaghetti. This is blue, so it really went with our color scheme. And then this just is kind of a continuation here. We've got snacks. Um, veggie sticks are great just to throw in my diaper bag for Ford. This Pirate's Booty, it's super low in points on Weight Watchers. And um, it's not as bad as like Cheetos and stuff like that. We've got this stuff, you know, tortilla chips that we actually use behind it. Um, but these are individual packets. So we just love having these on hand. We've just got these kettle chips that we always have. Um, we've got some of these um, just crackers. And then we've got crackers like in a Ziploc in the back. So it's not like perfectly, you know, done. You have the stuff that you, this is all snacks that we like, you know, just eat all the time. Just nuts and cookies and different things. And these aren't perfect looking, but from a distance, it kind of goes with the whole vibe. And then we've just got bags. So we've got grocery bags. I like to reuse these um, whenever people are taking things from my house. And then just like normal bags here. You heard Clea say like kind of when in doubt, if you want something to look great, Never underestimate like paper towels and water. So she's got the paper towels organized up here and then my La Crusade like right there that I usually have sitting on my stove. And this is one of my favorite sections. So you can get these at the container store also. And what's really amazing is they all have, actually sorry, I forgot to put that one in there. They all have little scoops. Let me put this over here. So see? practicality like even though this is not maybe the most practical thing in the world to do your pantry like this it is practical in a lot of lights surprisingly so here's the little trick so people are like how do you know the expiration date or how do you know like if you're a person that uses a lot of instructions when you cook how do you know how long to cook the pasta so there there are three different ways that Clea taught me so you can either cut out the little paper part on the box or the bag or whatever that says it, and you slip that down in the middle of like the rice or the pasta or whatever, or tape it on the bottom, or you literally use a little piece of tape like they've done with mine and write in like a magic marker or whatever, and then you can take the tape off whenever you refill it. Or um, lastly, you can use a chalk marker and you can just take that off with like a special kind of, um, if you put it like underneath the glass or on the plastic or something like that, you can take it off with something special. 
So we've got spreads here where I have all of my peanut butters and almond butters and my individual things of peanut butter and almond butter that I get from Thrive. Syrups, honey, stuff like that. Um, we've got like baking powder and stuff here, but then um, you could put, you know, condensed milk or whatever you bake with. We like this coconut milk for a lot of different reasons. We also use it in smoothies. Um, and then this frosting mix, it looks really good because it's kind of got the color scheme. And then behind it, we just got um, a couple more things like baking things, or you could put a couple more. Oh, actually we moved those, sorry. <laughs> and then we've just got some um, all purpose flour here. Um, these are just the ones that we didn't use in our flour bin or flour container. And then we just got some chocolate cake mix, some chocolate frosting mix. We've got some icings back here. I think that's always great. I like to bake cupcakes and stuff for people. And sometimes I don't want to go all the way to the store. And then we just got this protein pancake mix and some almond flour for whenever I do healthier baking. And then I love Topo Chico's. So I've got these on the bottom shelf and the Fiji on the bottom shelf. I've got back stock here. I've got just this bin here and back stocks. For the chute, this water looks great here. And we do have a lock that we're putting on the pantry so the Ford can't get in here. But we are gonna have to probably move this water just in case because it's glass and that ain't safe. But it looks good right now for these shots. While it's amazing to have them come into your home like I could today, you can do it on your own. I'll link all that below. I'm gonna link every single one of these containers and in the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do some smaller spaces. So I um, have my tea drawer, my spice rack, my bathrooms, some spaces that I'm going to do myself so that I can show you guys that you really can do it yourself and kind of make it look very similar to the way that the home edit does things because they've released all these new products and they have this book. So I hope you guys loved this organization. I have looked at people's pantries forever and ever and dreamed of this day so i'm so excited to share it with you guys um everything will be linked below and check out the next video i hope my comments are enabled on this video if they're not please go to instagram and comment and um, let me know any questions you guys have or any more organization videos that you guys want to see because i'm doing my whole house